Well, the day has finally arrived. It is Hershey Day. And this is kind of the, one of the main reasons for this trip in the first place was getting to Hershey Park and riding Wildcat's Revenge. So, I heard that Wildcat's Revenge was having some problems recently. A couple, last couple days it's been down. Uh, but it did come back up yesterday. And then, last night, Amy was just an absolute monster. Uh, she just kept us up all night. So I have no idea when the girls are going to end up getting to the park. But I'm still going to be there opening because I'm dedicated and I have coffee, so that helps. Uh, so, string of bad luck and things trying to get in my way. Only one explanation for that. And that is um, the curse of Skyrush. It is trying to ruin it, but I will not let it happen. So we're looking at another four mile walk today. Uh, four miles is kind of my limit when it comes to walking to parks. Anything more than that is going to be kind of a drag. Um, I'm leaving two hours before the park opens, so I want to be one of the first ones to get on Wildcat's Revenge, just in case anything weird happens. And uh, it's, it's a Saturday, so it's going to be crowded. I do have the fast track where you can skip uh, a ride each time, but I'm saving that for when Sophie arrives so we can each ride everything together. So, that being said, um, hopefully I can get on some stuff before the crowds roll in and uh, do it fast trackless. So my goals, obviously, Wildcat's Revenge, Stormrunner, haven't been on that in five years, and then obviously the man, the myth, the legend, Thycrush. Hmm. Do you think that's actually his real name? All right, so we are getting close because there are some Hershey Towers, and there is an RMC coming for you, Wildcat's Revenge. I see a sky rush. No amount of Amy screaming, Wildcat Revenge RMC breakdowns or bad weather can keep me away from you today. I'm coming for you. Is it weird that I'm walking around Hershey by myself, just taunting coasters? It feels kind of weird. So it is the rush now to Wildcat's Revenge. Here's the staging area for this end of the park where Wildcat's Revenge is. I'd still sleep a little easier if I saw some trampling. Wildcat's Revenge, initial reactions. I feel like it's running slow. Uh, I feel like it has more potential later on in the day. I got two rides in the back row. Uh, I think the drop was really good. Had a couple very powerful airtime moments. A couple airtime moments that I think kind of got ruined by the track twisting. Um, and then a couple very good hang time moments. So we'll see if those hang time moments uh, kind of go away and the ejector gets a little sharper. As of right now, after two rides, and I will definitely come back later, for a, a right in the afternoon or the, or the evening. I'd say it's kind of a mid-tier RMC right now. Well, it's good to get back on Stormrunner for the first time in five years. Good launch, not too powerful, like not as crazy as like Max Force or Accelerator. Pretty good launch though. Um, pretty smooth too, pretty uh, not too much rattle. Good airtime over the top, great inversion, uh, flying snake dive. So I'd say this is a good number two in the park right now. Come on, Nemesis. It's time, let's go. I officially rode Skyrush twice. Once in the back right seat, uh, and then again in the second row middle seat. 
and I'm ready to officially announce that this is the most overrated piece of crap I've ever ridden. Um, it just, the lap bar wasn't even that big of a problem in terms of pain. It was just, it just killed all the airtime. Most of the ride is filler. Uh, in the back, I did get thrown around a little bit side to side, which was kind of cool. In the front, that didn't happen. So rough in the back, too. Uh, at least in the wing seat. Just the, the rattle's insane. Uh, airtime moments are okay, but they're just absolutely murdered by the lap bar. And um, I kind of had a higher opinion of Skyrush after my last time in 2020. And now I gotta put it back down again, because I just don't get the hype for this thing. It's terrible. This right here is the face of pure evil. You suck, Skyrush lap bars. Wait time is 150 minutes. That looks like a, uh, I'll wait for Sophie for that one. It's crazy that a couple hours after the park opened, this is still a walk-on. And I think it's, after four rides, no doubt, best ride in the park. Row six, I tried it again because Air Force One row six was so good. Um, I don't think it's really a, a mid row ride. This is definitely a back row ride for me. This is how you go from the worst coaster in the state to the best coaster in the state. I don't know if that's ever happened before, but it definitely happened with Wildcats Revenge. It seems like Hershey Park did everything right with this coaster, from the operations to the locker system to the unloading, the three trains. Um, the ride just doesn't quite hit as well as other RMCs, so I'm still willing to rank it. As of right now, it might change later, as a mid-tier RMC. So the girls are on their way over here, but car won't start. What's that? Sky Rush. What are you doing to me? Alright, four miles there, four miles back. And uh, hopefully we can get back to the park by about four. We can hit all of Sophie's new credits. Alright Sophie, we are really late. It is after four o'clock, but the park closes at ten. We got some credits. You excited? Yeah. What are you most excited for? I don't know. I'm good Okay, that's fair. Hey Amy. Why were you such a monster last night? You look so innocent now, but you were like the devil reincarnate right here. Alright, so I've got a tip that after four o'clock this line disappears and it has been cutting by ten times less than it was before. Sophie, where are you? There you are. Candemonium. How was that? That was... it was fun. It was like really... it was really interesting. I don't really know how to describe it. it was airtime. Fun. Yeah. Lots and lots of airtime. airtime. And extremely smooth, which I appreciate. Because some B&Ms, man, they rattle. Not that one. Sophie, are you ready for your next RMC experience? Yeah, I guess so. You guess so? Yeah. That is not the enthusiasm I wanted to hear. Sophie just took on Wildcats Revenge for the first time. Row 10. Sophie, what did you think? I think it was really fun, a lot of air time, but I think it was just a little bit too much. Too I much think, uh, air time, too much laterals, too much flying out of your seat. Yes, but I appreciate the long ride. Yes. So I know it's blasphemy for a coaster enthusiast to say that it was too much air time, but that's what Sophie said. With her 200 plus credits. I know, I know. She's like the brag about her credits. She still thinks there's too much airtime. It's never enough airtime. I thought the wild mouse was fun. Sophie didn't because she slammed her head right into my shoulder. Sophie, control your head. What do you think about wild mouse? I think that was horrible. Horrible. That's your one word, devastating review. This one is pretty smooth, but I kind of think it's boring, but you might think it's fun. We'll see. This is called Lightning Racer. Uh, and, it actually, and it actually races. Yeah, which sounds like Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod. <laughs> which is my favorite. Well, if you're, and it's wooden. If you're expecting Lightning Rod, you're going to be disappointed. I'm just telling you now. There's Lightning Racer. Alright, Sophie, well, 
We got beaten so badly the first time, now we gotta try the Thunder side. I say that was a pity win the first time. You say it was a pity win? Yeah. Why was it a pity win? It was a pity win because that train kept losing so many times. Oh, okay. So the way for us to get on, to beat us, that makes sense. Well, if we're gonna win, we need more people in the station because this is pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> Lightning Racer, forceless, but we won. Thank you, Sophie. How'd you like Lightning Racer? Lightning Racer is very fun. It's very long. So yep, and not too rough. It, no, it's rattly. It's rattly, but it doesn't hurt your head, which is like a really good quality in a wooden coaster. Left track. Sophie, yeah. ready to skip at an enormous line? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, we could have skip some of the line, at least. Not yeah, all of it. Yeah, that's true. My legs go on for days. Smooth, fun, cool ride. It was long. Yeah. So that was probably one of the best indoor rides I've ever been. Yeah, I would agree. But it did physically pain me how long it took to get on that ride. Even with fast track, uh, that was still like what like a three to forty-five minute wait. So we need to get a move on, we're running out of time. Fahrenheit, one of the best coasters here, Sophie, excited? Uh, sure, I don't know. You don't know, sure. That's what she says. All right, Fahrenheit, got right in the station, that was awesome. Um, good mix of forces. Um, tighten the screws on those wheels a little bit, it's a little rattly. Sophie, not impressed? Uh, it was average. It wasn't like a good, like, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad. That is spoken like a true coaster enthusiast. Fahrenheit, very average coaster. Alright, Sophie, there are four coasters in the hollow. You got Comet, Sky Rush, Super Duper Looper, and uh, I guess Great Bear is kind of there too, so. Let's see if we can get in all of those in 45 minutes. Let's go. Comet was fun. Um, good first half, second half kind of mild. Sophie, not impressed. It took 12 minutes, so now, Sophie, it's time for Sky Rush. So, everyone's gonna want to know what you thought of Sky Rush. What'd you think? I think it was rough but fun. Rough but fun, yes. I put her in the good seat, like the uh, the mild seat, which was row two in the middle. And um, even that was pretty bumpy, even though it wasn't as extreme as the back. But yeah, Sophie, not a fan of Sky Rush, right? Yeah, nah. Like father, like daughter. Well, super duper loop for cost us 22 minutes because of one train ops. Sophie, intense loop? Very, very. Otherwise, kind of eh. Yeah. Welcome to Skyrush. Yes. Sophie, we wanted to do all four of the hollow coasters in 45 minutes. It took us 58. Oh well. So, we are headed back to the middle of the park where we're going to take on Storm Runner. Sophie loves launch coasters. No. No. She says no, but she really means yes. Right? No? Yeah. Can't trust kids. Alright, well, seemingly out of nowhere, we got hit with a rainstorm. Yeah. Sophie, what happened? I don't know. The sky is crying. Said the what? The the sky is crying. The sky is crying. That's as good an explanation I ever heard. So that's why I put a damper on our plans, because uh, it's raining pretty hard. Sophie, you are thoroughly soaked. I am thoroughly soaked. You can't see me though. We're on Cup Fusion because it's inside. Well, Sophie, we had to leave four credits on the table. No Storm Runner, which I know you don't like long lunch coasters. No Mine Train, no Kitty Coaster, and no Boomerang. So, all in all, I don't know how many, how many credits you got today, but it was a, a lot, so pretty successful. That is the Zac Brown Band having a concert 
the Hershey Stadium over there, so this place is packed. Sophie, that is a very bizarre end to a very bizarre day all around. So, you didn't get to see much of Hershey Park, but did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. Pretty big, like, awesome park, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Wildcats Revenge. I was very impressed, um, but not super impressed. I'm going to be putting out my full review very soon. So, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching this vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.